is Ray, and welcome to our program. Today's topics will include the world skills 2012. Is the world really going to end? And paper chromography. But first, paper chromography. We will talk live to Mitchell Bloom, a scientist who studies paper chromography. Thanks, Ray. I'll start first with some basic facts about paper chromography. First, what is paper chromography? Paper chromography is used to separate mixtures of substances into their components. To produce paper chromography or any chromography, you must have a stationary phase and a mobile phase. The stationary phase is a very piece of absorbent paper. The mobile phase is a suitable liquid solvent. Today I'll be answering the question, how does paper chromography work? And to do that, I will demonstrate. Now let's get started. So, if you want to produce a paper chromography, first, you'll need a glass, or something that's see-through, so you can see the paper chromography in action. Next, you'll need a pencil to hold the paper down into the water. Next, you'll need a piece of paper. And to do that, you can just take, fold the edge around, and then tape it to make a little hole. And then you can put the pencil through it. But not right now. Next, grab three markers. Take your paper and draw a dot on it. Pretty big, not too small. And do it with all three of them. Next, grab some water and pour it into the glass. And then put your pencil through it and dangle it in. But make sure that the water touches the paper so it can absorb up. Watch as you can see the paper chromography in action. You can start to see the markers go into the different compounds. Now you can really start to see it. Well, looks like it's almost done. Now that we're done, let's see what we have here. Look at that. You can see all the different components and the um, markers. So there you have it, a nice and simple way to produce paper chromography. I hope you enjoyed. Now back to you, Ray. Well, thanks, Rachel, for that awesome demonstration about paper chromography. Well, looks like we've run out of time. Until next time, goodbye.